when I was a kid growing up, I, I grew up uh, in a labor union uh, environment. My family wasn't particularly unionized, but I, I lived near the industrial towns of southeastern Wisconsin, uh, Kenosha, Janesville, Beloit, Racine. Uh, these are factory towns. They made tractors and cars and trucks, uh, auto parts. And so I, I grew up around union halls, and I always thought of unions as very powerful institutions. And uh, when I finished graduate school, I wanted to be a labor reporter, which was probably the single stupidest thing that anyone had ever wanted to do at that point because there was nobody hiring labor. There was not a great demand for labor reporters in the you know, late 80s. Um, but I found the Toledo Blade in Toledo, Ohio, and, and uh, got a gig there. And uh, I started covering labor. I uh, was covering farm workers organizing in the fields. Uh, in fact, I had to learn Spanish to, to do the story, which is what reporters should have to do. But one of the things that fascinated me was that uh, I wondered why union, Toledo was such a big union town. And as I went back through the history of the town, I realized that in the mid-1930s, Toledo had had, you know, a, a, a reasonably significant general strike. And that it was the general strike that really forced kind of everybody to halt and to recognize, A, the power of unions, but also the necessity of unions. And it was at that point that a wave of unionization had swept through the city. And it wasn't just the auto plants and the auto parts plants that had organized. But it was, you know, bakeries and uh, hotels and uh, glass making shops because people said, okay, we get it. Unions, power. You can bring the city to a standstill. You can bring it to a stop. Uh, we also have all these, we recognize all these people supporting one another. And so um, let's go do it. Let's move. And uh, as I studied the history of general strikes beyond that, I found that this dynamic reality uh, existed in cities across the country. If you want to find the most unionized cities in America historically, um, you often will find a general strike at the root of it. Seattle, general strike of 1919. San Francisco, the great uh, dock and stri general strike of 1934. I mean, these are points at which suddenly unionization uh, became something powerful and pe something people wanted to grab a part of and, and join. I really do think the general strike is something that uh, is under-analyzed by a lot of labor folks uh, as a, an incredibly powerful and important tool and to the extent that we do analyze it, we see that you know, while it can be a little scary to some folks, it can seem a little anarchical, uh, at the core it has some fundamental possibilities in it, uh, even for very mainstream unions. It's a, it's a way to connect with a lot of people.